hello everyone so today we are going to work on uh, this small detail such as um, here you can see we have some another type of a taller grass and some smaller rocks scattered in the ground and some other boulders uh, scattered and if you look into further inside these bushes you can see some more rocks and this yeah everything is procedurally generated i mean i know it doesn't look like a real detailed a good level design but i just want to like explore how these layers sand grass output sand all those techniques can be used to make a uh, procedurally generate these ground details so now you can see here yeah, this uh th these rocks actually i have placed it with the procedural foliage spawner and these smaller stones on the ground are spawned as a grass output so that's what we are going to work on today and as you can see i have changed the textures also a bit with by importing some mega scan textures for example these textures here are a bit different now and the rock surface textures which you can see in places like this here so yeah let's see how to do these things today okay so this is how it looks before uh, adding those uh, tall grass meshes or smaller rocks in the in these uh, surface areas with a bit of a higher slope so now uh, i have uh, already placed these rocks this is uh, completely with just like uh, uh, the way i did place these uh, trees i have used a separate foliage spawner for rocks it should be let me show that i'm not going to do that in the recording because i have shown how to do that so here yeah, this one i have already shown how to do that for the trees so i have used the same thing to place the rocks also okay now to place uh, stones and grass on the ground i have already imported let me filter static meshes i have these stones as a small forest rock so these are the rocks that i'm going to place on ground maybe a couple of them if i place it on the ground this is the scale it looks all right and this one is like this so yeah let me delete them and place them procedurally let's place them procedurally so for that uh um, let me zoom out and open the landscape material so here if we check the grass output we only have one grass layer so this is what we are we have used to spawn these grass meshes on the grassy texture area right so now i'll add another layer here i'll name it rocks sorry bushes and stones now for this i will create another another grass type 
foliage landscape grass type gt pushes and stones oh um, yeah that seems fine yeah now as the first element i'll set stone which one easier to select it here let's go with this one all right now i'll assign this here so but we don't re still we still don't see any of those smaller stones here the reason is we haven't connected an input to this one so how should we connect it so as i said before i need the stones to appear only on these like angled areas not uh high angled area but this a bit of a angled area rather than these flat surfaces so around here so for that we already have our layering system if i and uh, start previewing this so this one mask uh, the flat area which is grass and this one masks um, the sloped area except almost vertical or rock surfaces areas so if i do a 1 minus of this one and multiply with this one I should get the area in between let me preview this this is what we get what do we have here so here it's not exactly black but this is white so the reason is we don't get exactly one here so if I do a power node here and use a power like 8 now we get this area is black and we only get this area so that means if we consider a sloped mountain only this area would be white somewhere around here not the flat area not the high angled area only a low angled area right now we still need to adjust this but if i connect this output here and apply we should start seeing rocks see we see rocks not in this vertical area but almost low all the low angled areas so which is not exactly how I need it mm. so we need to reduce the angle so to reduce the angle we can here yeah. we can add an offset not one how about like 0.5 mm -hmm. oh let's try a minus value yeah now this angle is reduced if i apply now we don't see much of the smaller rocks in high angles but they are limited to these lower angled areas which is good mm -hmm. yeah one more thing they almost looks like same scale yeah this seems better
and we sort of have them like everywhere maybe we need to rate increase this point one yeah mm, oh still we got some oh one more thing we forgot to check the beach area we don't need these bushes in beach area at all because I'm planning to add a different type of some different type of uh, grass outputs for the beach so we don't need these strokes here so to get rid of that we need to do a multiplication with this beach layer Yeah, so we don't have them now. Um, can we add an offset here also? By doing that we can get rid of the, the stars in this flat area. Right. But it doesn't hurt to have some. So maybe let's try point eight. Sorry. None of them are here now. Ah, oh, sorry. Zero point eight. Yeah, okay. Okay, we got rocks now. Stones now. Now let's add the bush type also. One more thing. No need to appear them from a very far distance. So let's have a call distance like this. So it's better for performance. and use grid let's disable this and see how it looks i see some type of uh, clustering when I am not using grid. If true, use a jittered grid sequence for placement, otherwise use a hold and sequence. I am not sure what hold and sequence means, but I like the way it looks now, so I'm gonna keep this way. Alright, now let's add a bush also. Wait, what's the density here? 400. Seems fine. Add so as the bush, I'll add three D plants. This one. Oh, 
all looks kind of same but different let's assign this one Why am I not seeing them? Ah, oh, they are, they are very small. What's the bigger one here? Okay, let's uh, use this one and the higher scale. Three to six. Oh, great. And this should be vertical. They should not align to the surface. So, because that's not how the plants work. So, remove align to surface. Okay, nice. And so I can duplicate this and add another one, another variation. this one so now it looks better okay it looks cool now mm. but I still don't want these crosses in the middle so we still have to further increase this yeah bit all right so now here is our final result We don't have collision on grasses yet. Something we should look into in future. But this is enough for us to make uh, some demo level. sure if I would get stuck here oh no all right so we can stop this episode right here and thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.